In addition to using tab read, you can use the expression object to read tables. I've got a short sequence that's reading pitches off a table called melody. Let's take a listen. Okay, to use the expression object, we'll create an expression, type the name of the table, straight brackets, dollar sign F1, and the straight brackets. Remember that in using the expression object, dollar sign F1, dollar sign F2, etc., um, correspond to the inlets. So the F here stands for float, it's the type of data coming in, the one stands for the inlet, so dollar sign F1 is inlet one. I'll delete tab write melody, or tab read melody rather, and connect the expression object, and I'll get the exact same results. Since I'm using the expression object, I can use expressions, or math, within uh, reading this particular table. So for instance, I can say plus dollar sign F2, and I can create an offset. So now what I'll do, use the second inlet to create an offset so that I can shift which index I'm reading from. So I'd have the core index and then the shift. Let's start from, let's say, index 10. Now I'm at starting at index 17 as a base, and then back to, back to index 0. As you would expect, you can also do lots of other things since it is the expression object. You could conceivably create logical conditions to read only indexes that are even or odd or multiples of a particular number or read values that are multiples of a particular um, number. For instance, if we wanted to read only those values that were, multi were multiples of four, then we would say if, start our parentheses, and end the parentheses, take out the dollar sign F2. So if the value at the current index, so that's melody dollar sign F1 in brackets, is a multiple of 4, so modulo 4 equals 0, because a multiple of 4 would have a modulus of 0, then output the value, which would be melody dollar sign F1, else output a zero. Now we're going to have to change the rest of our patch beneath this, and to use, to execute this properly, we're going to have to use a spigot. And we'll feed the results into the spigot. but we'll only open the spigot when we actually get um, the value when it's true. Okay. So we'll do select zero because we're actually selecting when it's false. Okay. And now we're going to toggle the spigot open and closed. Let me get this, there we go. Okay, actually, let's, let's do this. Let's say, um, Let's do it this way. Yeah. We'll say if the output does not equal zero, then open this picket. Okay, and run it. So we see that it's only opening when the value is um, a multiple of four, so we can change that, say, how about multiples of two? Oops, let's cancel, don't want to close it. 
So there's definitely a delay because we are feeding the condition and then spitting it out, but that's something we could work out in another movie. So you can use the expression object to read tables by typing the name of the table and between straight braces using a dollar sign variables like dollar sign f1, f2, uh, depending on which inlet you're receiving from. And that'll give you a way to jump around in a table or uh, use an expression to determine conditions where you would read a table and its values.